Okay, everything bite size here. This is going to seem random as fuck, yeah? Because it is. I'm just basically, anytime I get a random thought in my head where I wonder how something works or I want to go more in depth into it, I'm going to open an article that looks reputable from a reputable source and then read it live and discuss it and go through it. So, um, yeah, this is random. <laughs> like, let's go. This is about the digestive system, and it's an article from the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, which is a bit of a mouthful. It's niddk.nih.gov, so it should be like quite, should be quite uh, de decent, really, like and in depth. Okay, so what is the digestive system? The digestive system is made up of the gastrointestinal tract, also called the GI tract or digestive tract, and the liver, pancreas, and gallbladder. The GI, oh, what? So the Oh yeah, of course the liver, pancreas and gallbladder are part of the digestive system. Because, um, yeah, like the pancreas uh, regulates uh, insulin, I believe, which uh, controls the levels of blood uh, sugar in the blood. And the liver filters out um, metabolites, I think it is, or metabolites are the process of li the liver filtering out stuff. Um, I'm not sure. And the gallbladder, I think, is like, it's, it's, it stores your stomach acid. Or something like that. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's make sure on all three of those points. Because Google should give a nice concise answer at the top. What is the... Wait, which one's the first one? What is the liver for? I'm sure it's for like purifying your blood or something like that. All the blood leaving the stomach and intestines passes through the liver. The liver processes this blood and breaks down balances and creates the nutrients oh i didn't know that and also metabolizes drugs oh so the metabolites are the the process of the okay into forms that are easier to use for the rest of the body or that are non-toxic interesting so yeah like the metabolite from alcohol i know is really bad for you and that's that's uh, i think where the issue lies with alcohol i'm not sure so the pancreas it's just i don't want to be saying shit and then and then being wrong, because I don't want to give wrong information. Um, also, like, I'm sure like a lot of people watching will want to know more specifically. The pancreas is a gland. Oh, it's a gland, which has two main functions. To produce enzymes to digest food. Oh, okay. And to produce hormones, insulin and glu glucogen to help maintain people's blood sugar control. It lies in the upper aspect of the abdomen in front of the spine and behind the stomach. So what was the next thing we were looking at? Uh, the, 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 the gallbladder, that's it. What is the gallbladder for? I'm sure it's to produce stomach acid. Gall. Um, the gallbladder stores bile, a thick liquid that's produced by the liver to help us digest fat. When we eat, the gallbladder's thin muscular lining squeezes bile into the small intestine through the main bile duct. The more fat we eat, the more bile the gallbladder injects into the digestive tract. Oh, I thought it was general stomach acid. Okay, so let's find out where stomach acid comes from. Obviously the stomach, but how is it made? Acid is generated by peri parietal cells in the proximal two-thirds body of the stomach. So, oh, so it's made in the stomach. Gastric acid aids digestion by creating the optimal pH for pepsin and gastric lipase. Okay, that's getting way too fucking scientific for me. Um, I'm pretty sure that the stomach acid can digest metal because there's a guy, I don't know if he's just got a special like digestive system, but there's a guy who ate an entire plane and that's going to sound ridiculous and unbelievable, but it's true. He ground it down into fine um, powder, the metal. I don't know if you call it powder, but he ground it down, mixed it with oil and ate it. Does, does the stomach digest metal? I'm sure the acid in the stomach is like the same that they use to digest bodies. Um, the things we eat stay in the stomach for only 30 to 120 minutes before moving to the small intestine. That's not enough time for stomach acid to have any meaningful effect on metal. So while stomach acid can theoretically dissolve metal, it can't do it inside the stomach and ingesting metal objects is dangerous. I'm guessing that's why the guy ground it up and mixed it with oil so it had time to, um, you know, time to digest in the stomach because it was only small particles. That's a better word, particles. Right. So that was just the first paragraph and I'm already Googling tons of shit. So this might be a long video. Okay, I will start again. Let me have a vape. 
what I want to do with um, these videos is as random as they are, I want to learn stuff myself and it helps me learn things and everyone learn things when you're conveying a message to people. Have you heard the expression, it's be the best way to learn is to teach? And that's so true because when you're, when you're uh, presenting information to people, you're having to use different parts of your brain um, to, to process that information. So when you learn something and you teach it to someone else, you're, you're reinforcing that information in your brain and also giving your brain um, a challenge chance to use different parts to work out the work out the problem or what you're talking about so um yeah there's that we'll start again the digestive system is made up of the gastrointestinal tract also called the gi tract or digestive tract and the liver pancreas and gallbladder i didn't know they were part of the digestive system to be honest but anyway the gi tract is a series of hollow organs joined in a long twisting tube from the mouth to the anus the hollow organs that make up the gi tract are the mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and anus <laughs> fucking hell, there's a lot of focus on the anus the liver pancreas and gallbladder are the solid organs of the digestive system okay the small intestine has three parts the first part is called the duodenum the gen gen genum. these all sound fucking made up i know everything's made up but this sounds made up the this might be too do you know what i'm gonna go with the other fucking article this is way too fucking this is way too scientific for me, mate. Oh, uh, I am so out. Of, I'm so out of my depth here. Right, let me. <laughs> fucking no, I really underestimated that. Like, well, of course, it's going to be like complicated. It's a fucking scientific paper. I'm way too dumb for that shit. Okay, dummies.com. How does this digestive system work? <laughs> I think this is more suited to me. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the really intelligent people who might be watching this, but this is more suited to me. Um. I don't understand all that scientific jargon and if, if I was to try and understand it I'd have to like Google a million things and the video would just be too long like it would take like the the entire the entire length of the, the universe from conception to end for uh, me to get through that article properly so how does the digestive system work this is literally on a, on a title called dummies.com and it's and it oh so it is that brand um the blah 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 for dummies brand by the looks of it um their website looks surprisingly shit like they're fucking they're fucking um but web developer must oh, i was gonna say really shit throat the web developer must be a fucking dummy because this looks like shit anyway the human digestive system breaks down the food you consume okay this really is for dummies using as much of the nutrients as possible to fuel the body after the energy is extracted from food through the digestive process and metabolism the remainder is excreted or removed um, they didn't add through the anus, I suppose, because it's dumb for dummies. People would laugh too much, so, so they didn't. They didn't mention the anus like as the uh, other one did. Imagine biting into a big juicy cheeseburger. Oh, thanks for that. As you taste it, enzyme in your saliva, salivary amylase, is there to start it digesting the carbohydrates, most likely in the bun. Oh, this is really for fucking dummies. Go ahead and take a real bite. Chew slowly so that your teeth can break down some of that food. Swallow and pay attention to the feeling of the bits of food being squeezed down your esophagus into your stomach. This action is called peri... Okay, I, I, I underestimated this. Peristasis. Peristalsis. And so the, the action of food being squeezed down your esophagus into your stomach is called peristalsis. Peristalsis. Oh, there we go. That's something um, that sounds right. And it occurs throughout your entire digestive tract. Okay. So there's an there's an image. I, I can't be bothered to add it to the video, but it's it's it is for dummies by the looks of it. It's a picture of a person very crudely drawn and he's got a fucking Mohican for some reason. Um and it says enter here where the mouth is. So the digestive system starts from the teeth to the tongue, no, to the saliva glands, the esophagus, then the then the stomach, then the pancreas the liver, gallbladder, small intestine, large intestine, and rectum. They did mention the rectum. Good. I love a good old rectum. It's good they mentioned that. Once the cheeseburger bits are in your stomach, they are referred to as bolus. The bolus is drowned in gastric juice, which is made up of the enzyme pepsin and hydrochloric acid. Yeah, hydrochloric acid. Yeah, I'm sure that dissolves metal. Does hydro. So how does it not eat through the stomach? Into oh, that's what I'll search. Why, did, why it doesn't, um, it's got, the stomach's got to have some sort of like lining that's, 
because plastic doesn't get dissolved by it, obviously, because you've all seen Breaking Bad. Hydrochloric acid dissolves the less active metals such as zinc and magnesium easily. It dissolves the more resistant iron, copper and related metals less easily or not at all. Other chemicals such as nitric acid will dissolve some metals that hydrochloric acid will not. Does hydrochloric acid is... Oh, this is going to be so bad for my Google history. Is hy hydrochloric acid okay i'll search this instead how does because i don't want this i don't want um to have on my search history um how to dissolve a bottle a body with hydrochloric acid or some shit like that because that will look fucking bad especially if i end up in court for something how does hydrochloric acid not eat through the stomach wall there we go the, the acidic gastric juices also kill bacteria. The mucus covers the stomach wall with a protective coating. Together with the bicarbonate, this ensures that the stomach wall itself is not damaged by the hydrochloric acid. Okay. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I still don't actually fully understand that. Um, there's actually a not... There's actually... Oh, no, it's not an article. It's Cura. Uh, let's have a look. Um, okay. So someone asked the exact question that I just asked and the top answer says stomach acid protects itself from being burnt by the corrosive hydrochloric acid by secreting sticky neutralizing mucus that clings to the stomach walls the mucus covers the stomach wall with a protective coating together with bicarbonate this ensures that the stomach wall itself is not damaged by the hydrochloric acid because goblet cells in the in the mucosa secrete large quantities of protective mucus that line the mucosal surface basic electrolytes such as hco3 Tra trapped inside the layer of mucus neutralize any hci hydrochloric acid i guess that is that penetrates the mucus okay so it's pretty obvious that the stomach must create a layer but i thought i'd look into it anyway especially for people who like to get technical um they end okay we're carrying on with the article now the enzyme and acid act to break down and f the food and release the nutrients the carbohydrates protein and fat in food you consume are all are important for nutrition it's excess of them that get you in trouble but they must be in their smallest form to be used by each cell the final stage in digestion occurs in the small intestine Digestive food from the stomach is pumped into the small intestine which gets flooded with fluid and enzymes from the liver Wait, so digestive food from the stomach is pumped into small intestine which gets flooded with fluid and enzymes from the liver quote-unquote bile and the pancreas quote-unquote pancreatic amylase trypsin and lipase lipase those chemicals help to break the molecules from the digesting food into its smallest components the smallest form of carbohydrate is glucose i did not know that which is the sugar molecule proteins can be reduced to amino acids i knew that fats can be reduced to fatty acids and glycerol um isn't glycerol something to do with sugar yeah of course because um that's i think that's what key ketosis is in the ketogenic type uh, diet i think i think the uh the body ketogenically uh converts fat into glucose because your brain does need sugar to to run it needs glucose but yeah i think you can get it from uh other things that aren't sugar okay so the, yeah so usually i'm guessing your body would get the sugar from the carbohydrates but when you're on a low carb or no carb diet ketogenically the fat turns it into energy uh no the uh yeah no that the, the oh fuck i'm confusing myself the smallest forms of nutrients pass through the walls of the small intestine and are absorbed into the bloodstream. And this is the, okay, they had to deal with this issue. The scoop on poop, I fucking, I, do you know what? That's so cheesy, I like it. That's, that's a good section heading. The scoop on poop. The usable nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream from the small intestine. The leftover material continues onto the large intestine. We say intestine in the UK, but I know you say intestine in, in America. Anyway. The usable nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream from the small intestine. The leftover material continues to onto the large intestine where fecal matter, quote unquote, feces or poop is created. The large intestine absorbs water and some electrolytes from the leftover material. Oh, okay. And that water is returned to the body to prevent dehydration. That's really interesting. That's like a fucking hybrid car or something like that, making sure it uses everything. If too much water is absorbed, constipation occurs. What? You'd think it would be the opposite, man. That's so weird. If too little water is absorbed. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, okay, that makes sense. 
uh, so if too much water is absorbed, it's then not used in that area for for the shit, and then you get um, I'm not saying poop. I hate that fucking word. Um, that's like saying fucking penis or vagina. Like it's it's just too technical and weird. If too much water is absorbed, constipation occurs. If too li too much li too little water is absorbed, diarrhea occurs. Once the feces are created, they pass on to the colon where they are stored. When the colon is full, a signal is sent to your brain telling you that you need to relax your anal sphincter and release the feces. Um, I think the sphincter is like the, the ring of your bum hole. Yeah, your bum hole. Yeah. Um, back to the bloodstream. M important, useful molecules pass through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. The bloodstream carries those molecules throughout the, the entire body. Every nook and cranny are supplied by blood capillaries, so every nook and cranny receives nutrients from the food you digested. The wall of capillaries are very, very thin. Just outside of the capillary walls is a fluid called intestinal fluid. This fluid fills every space between every cell in the body, cushioning and hydrating the cells and serving as part of the matrix through which nutrients and wastes are passed. The nutrients gained from digestive food diffuse through the capillary walls across the intestinal fluid and are absorbed by the cells. At the same time, water produced by the cells' metabolic, uh, mat metabolic processes diffuses out of the cell across the inter in interstitial fluid and into the capillary where it can be carried to the kidney for excretion. Very interesting. Do you know what? I've just realised what I can do. Um, this is content gold, man. I can just do like a whole series of like um, for dummies because th that's that, that's really cool how um, uh, they've they've uh, wrapped that up and you know it's not too scientific but it's also not too you know I've always loved that whole like blah 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 for dummies series. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna get a lot of content out of this website, man. Um, anyway. It's, you've been uh, tuned into everything bite size. Check out my music videos, check out my shorts, check out my other stuff like this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.